Good morning and welcome to the channel. If you've been thinking of starting a YouTube channel, but you're not sure what it would be about, what you could possibly do, well, there are some things you should think about. So we're gonna we're gonna talk about that real quick this morning. Uh, it's if your channel does okay, it, it's a pretty good extra income. Hey, it might get you 100, 200 extra a month, but that pays something, right? Okay, well, what did you do for a living? Uh, if, you're, if you're retired, if you're older, what have you done for a living all your life? Were you a plumber? Were you a secretary? Were you an electrician? Uh, maybe you were an auto mechanic. Uh, maybe, I mean, there, there's so many things you could have done. But usually when you have a job or a career, well, there you have certain skills that other people do not have. Where you're in the medical field, maybe you're a retired doctor, maybe you're a retired nurse, maybe you're currently a nurse or a doctor. So 90% of the time, if there's an answer, if I need an answer to something such as an electrical problem or auto mechanics, well, I'm going to go to YouTube and I'm going to type in how do I fix ball joints on a you know 92 Chevy Silverado and bam somebody has a video up there showing me how to do that uh, it could be anywhere from eight minutes long to an hour long however they choose to do it I tend to look at the smaller the shorter videos uh, because they get right to the point right to the work I don't need a speech you know on on getting prepared to change the ball joint uh, so yeah I would say eight to ten minute videos for things like that are perfect so maybe you're shy about being on camera well you don't have to you don't have to be on camera for those type of videos that that often uh, depends on what it is you can you can do an intro and say hey we're gonna learn about this today and go right to the work you know, people don't care what you look like. They don't want to see your face. They want to see what you're doing. So think about what you've done for a living. Were you in the restaurant business? Maybe you know how to cook things a certain way. People would like to know, hey, you know, a new couple got married. And, and they don't know how to cook a steak. Well, make a short 10 minute. Next time you cook a steak, make a 10 minute video. Put it up there. It may not get a lot of views at first. But over time, those videos build up views. And it, one thing people that start YouTube channels probably, you know, they get, they get impatient. They expect their videos to go viral and it just doesn't happen that way. Very, I've had, I've had one video go viral in three years, in the last three years. And, you know, it was terrible. It was a terrible video. And those are usually the ones that happens to but I think for somebody starting out, especially, you know, if you're a lawyer or whatever and you're retired, you know, I guess if you were a lawyer and you're retired, you don't need the money to do YouTube. But you might want to do something as a community service. Uh, but how many times do we go to YouTube to look how to do something and, and there's a video on it? So it doesn't matter what you do, even if you didn't do something as a career, if it's a hobby, if, you know, if you do knitting. Uh, if you, you're an artist, show people your little tricks, uh, easy, you know, how to draw an eyeball. Okay. If you're an artist, just do a 10 minute video. This is how to draw an eyeball and draw an eyeball. People love stuff like that. And just make sure, you know, once you're monetized, you want to make them at least eight minutes long. That way you got a, uh, advertisement on the beginning, the middle and the end of the video. Uh, which earns you more income right now youtube i looked at the, my last couple videos and seen what youtube advertisers are paying and it's high i mean it's high it's like 28 dollars per thousand views which you don't get all that but uh, that's you know i'm getting like 14 dollars for every thousand views that's pretty good and there are times a year like right after Christmas, where it goes way down. I didn't really see that this year. So I think that's getting better uh, as more advertisers get on YouTube. You know, people aren't watching um, 
ABC, NBC, they're not watching none of that garbage anymore. They're watching YouTube, they're anything web-based, they're watching. TV, cable TV, that's all in the past. I can't even believe it's still on there now, that people still have it, because you don't need it. You know, as long as you've got an internet connection, there's anything you want to watch on YouTube. Um, I don't pay for any channels like Netflix or that. I, because they don't put new things up fast enough, for, you know, back when I used to. I don't have time to watch that stuff now. But when I do sit down for the evening, it's usually YouTube. Once in a while, you know, there won't be anything interesting on YouTube for that day. And I'll put on Amazon Prime, which yesterday I tried that. Now they got commercials on there. I'm not, I'm not watching these disgusting uh, modern day commercials. So, I imagine that's what they're putting on YouTube, too, for the ad breaks, but I've got uh, YouTube, uh, I, I don't pay, I don't watch commercials. I pay the premium, so I don't have to. And, you know, content creators still get paid, whether you watch the commercials or not, if you've got that. So, well, man, just think of what you, you used to do for a living. Um... Maybe you were a police officer, and you're going to make a video on telling people not what to do when you get pulled over, not what to say, you know. It could be anything. If you're currently working in a career, and if your company doesn't mind, or you own your own company, and, you, you know, let's just say you're an auto mechanic. Put the car on the lift, start the video, here's how we're going to change this. And just show them the basics. Hey, you're going to get a lot of views on things like that. Um, building a channel on YouTube takes a long time. You know, unless you get lucky, there's people that they get lucky and they go right to the top right off the bat. So maybe those channels, take a look and see what they're doing. You know, a unique situation that they're in that a lot of people, other people aren't in. Uh, like the guy that bought the ghost town, you know, Cerro Gordo, he, he, he blew up real quick. Well, not everybody does a, buys a ghost town and lives there. So something like that's going to get a lot of people's attention, uh, more than, Hey, I, I, I whittled toothpicks for a living. Yeah. That's probably not going to get you any views, but you never know. People are weird, man. So I would say if you've been thinking about it, Make about 10 videos, 10 short videos, about once a week or every other day, put one up, see if you get any bites on it. You know, it doesn't hurt to help to have to know somebody that's a YouTuber that can recommend your channel and get you some views, but I think if you put good enough videos up, now you got to make sure you, people can hear you. Okay, there's nothing more irritating than clicking on a video and you can't hear them or somebody has a heavy accent and you can't understand them and they didn't put captioning on. That's irritating. Uh, or terrible video quality. You know, terrible video quality will kill you quickly. But most cell phones today have good enough quality you can just use your cell phone. Put it in landscape mode, turn it sideways like this they even got selfie sticks uh what are you, tripods the holders that'll hold these so if you're working on a car you're doing whatever put it in the tripod you don't have to touch it hit record there's so many things that are bluetooth that you can hold in your hand and hit record you don't have to go move you know mess with the phone so if you're thinking of starting a channel just what do you know you know, there's very few people on earth, well, there, there's quite a few people on earth that don't know a thing, but there's very few people that have not had one specialty that they're good at that other people might be interested in. You know, if you can teach one person something, hey. But if you just want to do it for fun or a hobby, I say go for it. Uh, you're not going to get rich right away. <laughs> you're not going to get rich. So just put that out of your mind. Uh, I get less than a thousand dollars a month usually, but hey, that that takes care of pretty a pretty good bunch of my bills because I don't have a mortgage, I don't have a car payment. All I really have is my 
my electric bill, some insurance, uh, not much, and I'd like to keep it that way. So consider what you want to do. You sit down on a piece of paper. Hey, get on YouTube. If you're thinking of how to, you know, you might have a classic car that is rare now, and you know how to work on it. Well, there's some other people that might have that car. They'll watch that video. If you're a secretary, you know, best way to change the ink in this printer. Stupid little things like that people watch. Because I've been stuck doing something. Okay, right here. I bought this Bose speaker. Now, I'm not talking to you. And it has the A that ends with A. So if I ask for a certain song, it'll play it. Well, I unplugged it for a long time, and I forgot how to set it up, and it wasn't cooperating with me, so I just typed it in how to set up the Bose speaker, put the model number, and there it was. Now it's set up again. So things like that are valuable. Um, a lot of people that click on those kind of videos, they're not even going to comment. They're going to finish what they're doing, but a lot of them will subscribe to you. So something to consider, folks, and... Uh, it gives you something to do. It's kind of fun. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. Happy trails.